And I want to show you a super simple way to sort your files so you can find things a whole lot easier. This is also just a great way to sort stuff if you just want to clean up all your files. All right, let's jump into it. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my downloads folder open and I've got just a ton of files in here. Some of them are random that we need to just delete. But what I was doing is I was trying to locate some newer files that I just created and downloaded from my phone. And now they're up here in this area. But the way I was able to find these was I went up here to the top area and what I did is once I've clicked on a file within this folder, this lets uh, the computer know that, again, you want to sort the files that are in this specific folder. What we can do is we can go up to the view option. I'm going to click on this. It's going to use a drop down menu for us. And then we have a little sort by option. Once I highlight that, another sub menu comes up. And as you can see, we have all sorts of options. Now, the one I really like is either the date added or the date created. And this sorts things by the newest file up top. So as you can see, once I clicked on date created, the newest file is now at the top. It's created today at 7.30 p.m. And that allows me to find things really, really quickly. You can also sort these by name if for some reason that is better for you. If I click on name, you can see that now we have it sorted this way in a way that is able to show numbers first and then obviously ABC from there on out. Again, I can go to view. We can do date modified maybe. Now this one's great if you've modified a file. Maybe it's not wanting to sort by date added or created, but simply the date that you changed it. You can find it that way. You can do it by size, tags, kind is actually kind of nice as well, because now we can see folders. We can see all sorts of different things based off of the type of file that they are. Again, I'm going to go back to view and I'm going to click date created here so I can grab my files to edit. That's it, friends. I hope that this video makes life just a little bit easier for you. Remember to subscribe because we're making a ton more of these little Mac videos and hit that thumbs up button if this has helped. All right, friends, we'll see you again on the next one.